All right, everybody. I know you can't really see me very well, but I'm gonna do a update video and a pickups video. So, first off, I have to address. Now I'm filming it in the same place for this reason. I have to address the Dreamcast collection video, and I'll even um, pull it over, and I'll show you guys Dreamcast collection. So I made an unboxing video on this that was a. Um, I mean, it's not really an unboxing, and that's the thing, I mean, it should be fairly easy to understand, because the game's, the artwork is not there, and it's cracked open already, so I didn't really open it, uh, other than just showing it, but that video is a parody video, I put it, I, I know people are going to criticize me for this, I know, I put the video as unlisted, um, it's still there if you go on my 2019 videos playlist, which hopefully uh, it's it's there. I put it in there the moment I uploaded it, I think. So the video is still there if you want to watch it, and it is a parody video. But, um, I mean, go back, look up Showing a Halo 2 Collection video. Look that up on my YouTube channel. It's from 2015, Showing a Halo 2 Collection. Same shaking thing, right? It's the same joke. It's just a reference to some old videos. Um, I feel like this is kind of a lost art on my channel, um, because apparently some people didn't understand that it was a joke, I did mention that it was a joke in the description of the video, but for some reason people just don't pay attention, probably threw some people off, I don't know, but the thing is, man, this channel kind of, I don't know, it started as a Lego channel 10 years ago, a uh, couple weeks, less than 10 years ago, and then it became, uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition walkthroughs or whatever gameplay in uh, 2012, and then it became all sorts of weird shit. And that was the thing, man. My channel was just like a joke. That It was just like random stuff. You know, I mean, you go back to the videos that I made in the Archie Bunker, which is here. Like the unboxing, mystery unboxing Cretan Oil video, which is just complete nonsense. Um, the unboxing of Halo 2, this video here. Um... You know, I just used to fuck around on YouTube. That was what I did, is I made videos where I joked around. But I don't know, maybe I've lost that art or something. I mean, I don't know how, it, if I were to make the Deuce Brotherhood again, how would that go over with people? I don't know. Because I have a very different audience, I have a much bigger audience. I had like 60 subs when I did the Deuce Brotherhood originally, uh, almost four years ago. Which is crazy to think about, but that is the case, man. It's been four years since the Deuce Brotherhood, basically, since I did that series. And, you know, how would people take that now? And I, I made, I didn't even go into that clarifying that it was a joke. I waited until later, and then I made a video called Take a Joke. I mean, this is all there. You guys can look at all this stuff on my YouTube channel. It's all there, all these videos. Take a Joke, where I said that this Deuce Brotherhood series is a joke. <laughs> but, I mean, like, it's just, it literally is just a joke series. Even though some of my opinions were true. Uh, it was just a joke video, or joke series, making fun of the fanboys and obviously the Trey Brotherhood thing, so. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. Maybe I'm just misinterpreting this or taking it out of proportion, but I did get a comment on that video. That was, I don't know if that's somebody that is subscribed to my channel, because I can't tell. They, they have their subscriptions uh, hidden, I'd assume, because I don't have them in my subscriber list. Uh, but that could have been someone that subbed. Um, I don't know, you know, some people might misinterpret that if they are newer subs of mine, like 2016 or later, late 2016 or later. I mean, even like the Paper Half-Life collection thing, I mean, come on. I actually, I might still have some of the Paper Half-Life stuff. Maybe. But, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that I used to do. I don't know, maybe I've lost that. Maybe that's all past me, but I don't know. At that point, the channel kind of devolves into a pickups video channel. But, which is exactly what I said I was going to become at one point. And that's kind of what it is now, actually. It's just a pickups video channel. I mean, unboxing, there's a bit of tech stuff in there. Uh, but, yeah, we'll, we'll see what kind of content I make, because I'm almost at 10 years. I mean, I just, I just wanted to address this, though, because, you know, some people might have been confused by that shaking thing. I mean, I can, like I say, I can shake, no problem. But it is just a reference. It's just a joke. So take a joke, people, take a joke. Because that's what YouTube is. you got to remember this, man. I guess I've been around long enough that I, when I watched YouTube, most of the shit that I watched when I started out was just stupid crap. 
I mean, crap that probably doesn't hold up today, but it was just stupid, funny stuff back then. I mean, I watched Lego reviews too, but mostly it was just humor and comedy and stupid crap. But apparently that's not the way that YouTube is now, because I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, this is a an interesting thing, but I do think that... Um, I'm gonna, I am gonna do a video, I think, playing Sonic Adventure from this. I haven't played that game in four years, so maybe I'll play that on video. Um, but yeah, so just had to address that, that it is a joke video. I don't shake like that. I don't have very steady hands. Uh, like, when I try to write or anything, uh, I'm not very steady, but I'm not, like, that kind of shaking, you know? Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. Apparently that was misinterpreted by some people that didn't either hear that it was a joke. I know the guy said his volume was low, but that's fine if he didn't hear it. But I did put it in the description as well. Make sure to read the descriptions and also the, the lower cap description and just gibberish grammar. And a lot all that video, that video is entirely a joke. The whole thing is a joke. So I just had to address that. So yeah, and like I say, 10 year anniversary is coming up in uh, 21 days. Only 21 days. It will have been 10 years since I made my channel, so... Getting down to the end there, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, hmm. It's been a long, long time. A whole decade. It's crazy to think that in less than a month, the whole decade of the 2000s will be more than 10 years ago, just the whole thing's past. Um, yeah, I'll do a... I always say that I'm going to do like an in-depth video, like an edited video for my anniversaries. I don't know if I'll do that this year. I'm not going to say that I'm going to do that this year. It'll probably just be a basic. I might edit the video um, a little bit, but it'll probably just be me talking about my thoughts on everything, which I'm kind of giving a bit of it now. Yeah, so I've been doing this for a long time, man. Um, it's changed a lot. I've gone through, I've grown up with YouTube, really. I've made videos of all sorts of different things. I've made almost 1,000 videos in my time. So, and a lot of them are just that stupid kind of stuff, so. But I don't know, maybe people watching now are watching for the tech videos. I've had some people that say that they watch me for my tech videos. There's some people that watch for the live stuff. There's some people that watch for, I don't know, they just like to hear me talk for some reason. <laughs> Which, if so, uh, I mean, I appreciate all the fans. Um... I don't hear from any of them anymore, but I know there probably are some people that do like my stuff. Uh, I know there's a couple of people that will occasionally comment that have been watching me for years, and that's really cool. Uh, they've seen me grow up, definitely, at least partially, depending on when they started watching. But yeah, it's it's been a long, long time since I started doing this. Um, and it, I mean, I the thing is, I made a video about this earlier this year. I did YouTube sporadically until 2015, until February of 2015, and then since then I've made a video, at least one video every month. Um, I've done, that's when I really got into YouTube hardcore. Oh, that was only, that's less than, almost five years ago that is. It feels like way longer than that, man, I say. Just crazy. Yeah. February 2015, right? So just wanted to give a brief update and I wanted to clarify on that video. Um, like I say, it's still there, but I took it down so it doesn't mislead people because, you know, I really don't want people thinking that I'm some crack addict or something. But, you know, because apparently I don't know if the humor part of me is lost, but but it is still there. So if you guys want to check out a, a video of me shaking really bad and, like, trying to explain the game terribly, then it is there. It's still there if you want to look at it. It's just not in the main list. Which, honestly, I've, I've put up a few videos that are like that, uh, where they didn't turn out too well, but I thought might as well put them up anyway so people can look at them, but they're just in the playlist. They're not in the main thing, so. There are, if you, especially this year, if you go into 2019 videos, there's a couple of videos that are unlisted just because I thought they turned out kind of crappy, but I put them up anyway. So, yeah, that's really my update. Uh, if I want to continue the update, but I got a pickup. Uh, so pickup video is coming out January 7th, I think, something around there. January something. So pickups video is going to come out then. But I got a pickup that I'm going to do some vids on here in December. 
So I'm just going to show the, the pickup now, uh, hopefully <laughs> to the best of my ability, because it is a fairly big pickup, and to put it into a pickups video, I might mention it in the pickups video that I have it, but um, I'm just going to show it in this vid, and then I will, uh, I have another video already made about it, and then I'm going to make a couple more videos about it in the upcoming days. So, um, let me just hide my browser window for a second, so, here's my, uh, 2010 iMac, I got this in July, now the turnaround for this, you know, I get iMacs occasionally, <laughs> um, but I have yet another one, wow. Um, this is more of a hobbyist machine. I'll kind of talk about it, uh, but here it is. It's a 2006 Intel iMac, a 20 incher. It's the late 2006. So why did I buy this? You might ask. You know, because I, I am a collector. Obviously, I collect Mac stuff uh, from the 2000s, Apple stuff in general from the 2000s. Um, but I got this for one main reason. Now I have that guy right there, and I'll just give my Mac history really quick. I got a 17 inch of the same year of this guy in November of 2017, so two years ago. And that was actually, that became my main computer because I was so impressed with the Mac OS at the time. So I used that until April of 2018 when I got that guy because that 2006 one was fairly outdated. And I used that for a while, and it started to have some problems, so I decided to upgrade to this guy. I also did have a 2009 iMac for a very short period of time, but I returned it because it didn't work out very well. So this is my main computer, though. This is my main computer. Uh, this, I mostly bought, like I said, as a hobbyist machine because it runs, um, here it runs Mac OS X Tiger, and it can run um, Tiger through Lion. This guy can only run back to Snow Leopard, so I mainly got this for Tiger. Um, and you know, it's a collector thing, it really is. And now, I know there's probably going to be somebody who thinks it's just the, it's literally the same iMac that you have. Uh, it's the 17 inch. It's just you're saying that it's a 20 inch. You know, I do sometimes get stuff like that. Um, but no, this is, this is a new computer. Um, I do have a, if you don't believe me, if you really don't believe me, I'm not going to dig the 17 inch out right now. But I did film a comparison video showing the, the size difference between the two machines. Uh, and obviously, they you get to see them side by side, so. Yeah, and it just, you can tell it's bigger. So, it, it is pretty nice overall. Um, this is my old keyboard that I got for my 17-inch. I got this for Christmas of 2017. Then this uh, Mighty Mouse, which I bought around the time that I bought that. Uh, so, it didn't come with accessories, but what it did come with, and this is kind of funny, <laughs> Um, it came with the original power cable, the iMac power cable that sits flush with the, uh, with the computer. That's the first time out of owning, I've had four iMacs before this guy, this is my fifth one. That's the first time I've gotten that original power cable, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So that's kind of neat. Um, yeah, so I'll show just the back real quick, you know, I mean, I've shown the iMac before, um ports, you know, just got audio, headphone jack, line in, three USB, two ports, FireWire 400 ports, Ethernet, and video. Now here's something that I think is so stupid, you know, anybody who's in the sound or music production or anything editing wise with uh, sound, um, you know, you have both ports. Uh, you have a headphone jack and a line-in, so if you have anything that goes into the line-in, you're probably not going to want to listen to it and master it on the crappy built-in speakers. At least crappy for reproducing it. Like, if you're actually trying to make your stuff sound good, you're not going to listen to it on these external speakers. You're going to want something high-end. So you plug something high-end into this port. But on the current iMacs, they combine the ports into one, so you can't do that. You're basically forced to use the external speakers, otherwise you have to use something Bluetooth, and Bluetooth does not sound as good in most cases, unless you get very high-end equipment. So I just think that's kind of stupid that they did that. This one still has the dedicated ports. It was in 2012, I think, that they cut that out. 
They did the same on the laptops too, which is really stupid. So, yeah, um, it's pretty thick <laughs> by modern standards, but who really cares? Because you know the base sticks out anyway. It does have a DVD drive, which oh my god, I'm gonna tell a story with this guy. Um, webcam, whatever. Um. Yeah, works just great, man. It really is a nice computer. Uh, in terms of condition overall, it's pretty damn good condition. Uh, there's some marks on the back of the base that I have yet to clean. It's just kind of like uh, dirty. I could probably clean most of it off. The biggest cosmetic defect is right here. There's a little scratch, which does show up. So that's kind of annoying. But the screen is basically, the screen is actually not flawless. If I could find a way to, um, I'm trying to think of a, a black screen I could bring up. Um, it emits a little bit of light from this corner when it's totally black, but it's not a huge deal. It, like, it, it bleeds light a little bit in the corner. Um, so yeah, I have it set up here on Tiger. Um, let me do about this Mac. It's the server version because I can't get retail to install because I don't have disks. Um, processor is a 2.16 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, two gigs of RAM. The max is like, I think it's three gigs, but I'm not gonna upgrade it because it runs fine. Uh, this was made in 2007, so it was actually, um, it was one of the last uh, batches of this that they made. Graphics wise, a 20 inch screen, uh, has the ATI Radeon, X1600, 128 megs, so it's the lower end graphics card. Um, but yeah, it's basically just the standard model, but the RAM's been upgraded, which anybody can just pop that off on the bottom and put more RAM in it. In terms of software that I got on it, um, not a whole lot yet. I did get Photo Booth to work on the, the server version, but it does not work with the life cam. You can't use external webcams on this version of it, so it's useless to me. I did get Front Row to work on it, too. I'm not going to pull the remote over now, though. Marble Blast Gold. <laughs> this game. Uh, Ready, set, go! Now, if you remember, um... There was a sequel to this game on the 360 that was a lot less cheesy. <laughs> and that was a lot of fun. It was called Marble Blast Ultra. That was a lot of fun. Raven Shield, of course. Uh, Microsoft Office 2004 and Media Player is installed as well. I don't know where exactly that is. Oh, there's Media Player. Firefox, which is a really old version of Firefox. I have iLife of 6 on it. Besides that, it's all stock so far. I haven't put a whole lot on this part of it. But I do also have, um, I put a lot of music in it, or on it, uh, for my iTunes. In, in terms of the built-in speakers, uh, let's play something here. What can I play? It's probably going to, it won't sound very good. Ah, forget it. I'm not going to play something because it'll sound like shit. But the speakers on this are pretty similar. They're a little bit better than the 17-inch speakers, but they're actually worse than the speakers in that. So, yeah. It would be good to use externals, but it's a pain in the ass on my desk to fit them on. Let's restart into Snow Leopard. It does have that little indicator light. I'm going on pure chance with this thing now. <laughs> Quake. Mac HD. Let's see. This is yellowed. These keyboards get really nasty. This version of it does. I'm thinking about buying Bluetooth versions of these accessories because the cord's a pain in the ass, especially on the mouse. And this mouse is flawed because the way that the ball gets gunked up, this one barely works. 
So, like I say, track ball is the best. All right, let me um, put in my password. I have it themed, like kind of set up like Leopard. Same thing, I got a lot of music on it or whatever. In terms of like files on it, there's not a whole lot. Uh, Microsoft Office 2008 is on it. Uh, Firefox is on it, which actually kind of works well even still. So you can kind of use this thing with the web, but not a whole lot. The Unarchiver. Uh, Steam, I was able to get an old version of Steam that runs on this still, and I was able to install a couple games through really roundabout methods, but um, I'm not going to say which games they are. I want to save it for a video, but let's just say there's going to be another benchmark. <laughs> uh, I got Audio Surf on here using Wine. I can play that, I and mean, it runs actually really well. Marble Blast Ultra, which is also running using Wine, which I will show here. Now, this video has already been really long, and I might have to redo it. But, whatever. I just piss away my fucking time all the time, so it's no problem to redo this 30-minute video. <laughs> whatever. Does take a bit to start because it's loading up wine first. The screen is pretty nice. It's matte instead of glossy, so you don't see yourself in it if it's dark. It's one thing I hate. Um, and it's an IPS panel, unlike that, so it has really good viewing angles and color. What's so mysterious is I copied this from my Dell Latitude. Um, and on the Dell Latitude, this game is fucked up playing it. I can't full screen, and there's no sound. But on this, not even natively running in uh, Windows. It's running on Mac OS using Wine. It works fine. It works just fine. So, I'm just waiting for it to load up here. Which is cool because you know this um, Xbox Live Arcade compilation disc that has a demo for this game for the 360, but the full game was taken off the arcade in like 2011. So this is a really good way to play it now, actually. But for some reason, it's being a bitch with me. There's two of the game open. Let me just close one of them out. Get rid of that. God damn it, come on. The program Marble Blast has encountered whatever. I don't care, I'm trying to close it, damn it. <laughs> I don't even know which one's which, though, so I can't do anything about it. It's this one. Fuck it, man, I'll just go with this one. There we go. Oh, the buttons are stuck, so I gotta make the window bigger. Okay. Okay. You can hear sound. There's music. Video options, full screen. Yep, full screen works. Single player game. Okay. Just played this level. a little bit laggy. I don't know if that's just because it's running in wine or my computer just can't handle this game very well. Uh, but it's not too terrible. It's definitely playable because there's not a whole lot to this game. But yeah, it works fine. What I think is funny though, and this is always the way it's been on the PC version, it does show the 360 controller stuff even if you're using a mouse and keyboard. Fine. And so 
a little bit glitchy, but overall, I just think it's funny that it works better than it does on Windows. <laughs> I had some problems with games that I'll show. I have VirtualBox on here too, I'll show. And this fucked up thing. Windows XP, start up Windows XP. You can see there's, it looks like there's marks in the screen, it's just because I haven't cleaned it off completely yet. It just kind of dirty still. Uh, but you, that right there, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure that'll come off. If not, I can't really see it in the screen on, other than when it's dark, so. Yeah, here's, uh, maybe you can see a little bit of that bleed right there. Okay, Windows XP. So, looks pretty nice on this 20 inch screen. I'm having a hard time showing the whole screen at once. So yeah, I mean, it runs pretty damn smooth for what it's worth. I tried Vista and it was pretty bad. Obviously, you can't use Arrow, especially on a card this old. Uh, you can't enable Arrow. It's just, you can't. And even without it, it's too laggy. But this is pretty good. Um. Yeah, it looks really nice on this 20-inch display. I'm having a hard time showing the whole thing. So This used to be the biggest iMac. Um, at the time that it, this one was released, it was not. The 24-inch came out at the same time as this, but from, I think, November of 2003 to September of 2006, the 20-inch was the biggest. So there's Windows XP. Runs well. It's not activated though. I don't know how to activate it because I don't have a. It was installed from OEM Media, and it's it's Dell OEM Media, but I don't. It's not Dell, <laughs> so the the computer did not activate. So I need to find a way to get around that, because I mean it looks really nice. Um, yeah, it was for this guy. And then Windows 2000, which I installed, um, in the event that XP I can't.